Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to paint this garbage enclosure fence in black color. Also, how to seal coat the existing asphalt and stripe the parking lot for the handicap space. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end so you won't miss out on any details of how you can do this kind of work as well. In order to paint the, this garbage enclosure fence black, we're just using some typical brushes, a small roller, and we also have a sprayer, which I'll show you here in a bit. The sprayer helps just to advance a little more quickly. We have that Wagner sprayer that it's really great. And the best way to spray paint a fence like this is you'll want to spray it first with your sprayer and then you, you'll go back and hit it with the roller. And the reason why we go back with the roller after we spray it is just to get a nice uniform look because as you can see, you know, when we spray it right here, it may seem that we get everything like nice and even, but there's some areas where we stop and where we stop that that it kind of creates like a little bit more paint and, and it has like spots basically. So in order for you, the, the best way to even all that out is after you paint the, like, you know, let's say you get one side, you'll paint that whole side and then you just come back from the beginning and, and just back roll it. That's what they typically call it, a lot of the painters. Once you do that, you'll have a nice, beautiful finish. So we have two guys here, one, you know, one goes ahead, then the other one behind them just does the back rolling so we can get through this pretty quick. We, we had to cover this area back here because there's like some cars directly on the other side of this garbage enclosure fence. There's like a UPS big facility. So there's a lot of cars that come in and out and we definitely don't want to get any overspray on those cars. So we're just putting a, a little um, like a drop cloth over that area so we can just protect those cars. There was another day when we worked over here, we, we made a ton of dust, taking out all this dirt. And there, there was a, a client from the UPS that he got kind of upset because there was a lot of dust, you know, on his car. And I think he had just washed it. So he wasn't too happy, but I mean, that was the only way that we could do it. And I mean, thankfully it was just dust, but Here's the results after we painted, we spray painted this area. Then we just kind of hit it with this roller right here. So, and then with the brush that helps you get in all the crevices, the nooks and crannies, all the, in the corners, edges and all that. And uh, that way you can get a nice, even professional look. Then over here, we're also pouring the asphalt. This used to be dirt. It's like a five foot by 15 foot long area. So we dug that out about four inches. We put new asphalt and then we're just compacting it. Over here in this open area, I uploaded another video here recently in this channel where I showed you how to pour this ADA asphalt uh, parking lot space. And right now we're gonna run string lines so we can do the striping, which is basically just painting the parking lines. We have this one handicap spot then a no parking zone on the right side. And then on the left, it's gonna be a very small, tight parking space, almost just for like a, a motorcycle. So all of this needed to be done in order for the client to open up his uh, tea house. We needed to have an ADA rated parking spot and walkway. So this is the striping right here. We have a gray coal machine that it just works really great. It sprays the four inch wide line. And you just basically mark the string line and then just follow with your with your sprayer. You know, just, I mean, it's, it's already meant for that. So you just basically position it where you need it to match the string line. And then you just run it straight and spray as you go. That will give you the perfect, nice and straight line. Then right here in the middle, we have to paint that famous handicap logo. So the way how you do that is you'll wanna basically first do the square or rectangle, you know, and then you, you paint that a solid blue 
and we're gonna actually apply a few coats so that this is after we sprayed the first time but we're gonna go back and, and basically paint that blue square like three different uh, passes and then over here on this existing asphalt we have this heavy-duty brush and that's gonna help us to clean all that existing asphalt so we can seal coat it but this is the results after we we painted all of the lines and then the handicap logo right there, we already have that template. So this is perfect, it came out really nice. We have that parking spot right there. And uh, now we're pretty much ready for the, the asphalt seal coating. So this material, it's made out of the same of how they make the new asphalt. We just spray it or, or um, spread it along the existing surface. And then with this special squeegee tool, we just spread it out evenly so what this does is it will seal all the existing concrete and it will give it a nice like new dark black color and it just looks so much better with the new asphalt that we poured all around with this old asphalt right here I mean it had a bunch of imperfections so by doing this it will help to seal all of those cracks and gaps and and everything and then we'll spread it out it will it will create a nice even uniform look throughout the entire parking space and uh, it came out really nice in the end so th this thing right here once we spread it around we need to let it dry for at least a day you know after you um, after it basically dry it dries really quick since it's a very thin layer so usually by the following day, you can drive on it. Um, you don't need to worry about the, the stains of the tire and things like that because um, it's pretty typical and it's, it's gonna happen anyways. So, um, you know, as long as you let this sit and rest for at least one day, you can use it the following day. Thankfully, today is Friday. So we're gonna enclose all this area. We're not gonna be back until Monday. So by the time we get here on Monday, we'll be totally fine to use this entire parking space the asphalt I think we poured it the new asphalt um, ADA parking lot we poured it on on uh, Friday or sorry Wednesday so now it's all ready to use but that's pretty much the entire process of how you can do this kind of project thanks for watching may God bless you and I'll see you on the next video